Hey everyone, uh, I guess you guys heard over the news. My the near area of California has been surrounded by wildfires. And uh, as you guys know, I am doing okay. We're nowhere near the mountains. So, in fact, come here. See, you can't even see it, but we got a pretty interesting uh, sunset here. Yeah, just want to let you guys know, yes, we, I am doing okay, even though, let's be honest, we've been having a ton of hot days, that's the reason I canceled the uh, Knox trip on Monday, because it was like close to over 100 degrees, and it's gonna get, oh, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse, but I do think the news did say it's gonna cool down by Friday, which is when I'm planning on going back to Knott's, hopefully, so, yeah. Hopefully the what, temperatures cool down, and I'll see you guys with the uh, news regarding NASCAR. What's up, everyone? Mike from LA1 here. Well, I promised we're going to be going to NASCAR, talk some NASCAR news. Well, we are going to do just that. In fact, we're actually going to do a bit of a test session for Cup Series, and uh, we're going to go in the 51 because that is my Cup car. And we're going to go to Auto Club, because if you guys didn't hear what happened, yes, the news that broke yesterday, with the source being from The Athletic, 2021 will be the final race of the mile and a half track. Because as soon as that race weekend is over, is over, the track will be torn down, and it'll be replaced with a half mile short track. Well, the majority of NASCAR fans are probably elated. Some of them are like saying, well, why are we needing another short track? This feels un kind of feels unnecessary. And in a way, you're right. But I'll be honest with you guys. I'm kind of glad because honestly, I most people are, I myself included, myself included, this track was on the verge of becoming another Michigan. Something I don't want to see happen. This track is so nice to be, it's too nice to not be another Michigan. Because it was due for a repayment soon. So... But the thing is, according to the uh, concept, so the short track will make its NASCAR debut in 2020, in 2022, just in time for when the next gen car comes out, which is actually good news. Which is actually good news. This gives more anticipation for the NASCAR Cup Series. But the thing is, the track layout will look very similar to Martinsville, but... The turns will be banked in a similar way to Bristol, which is actually even more good news. Which is even more good news. And judging by the concept art, you don't have to, t you do have to tear down a part of the grandstands, dang damn it. And it doesn't look like Victory Lane is going anywhere. I Honestly, it would be nice to see if Bristol, that auto club, Gets the Coliseum look kind of similar to what Bristol has. Speak of the devil. But let's be honest. I guess NASCAR doesn't want another West Coast Bristol for any more rip Bristol ripoffs. And honestly, I'm kind of looking forward because next year I'm actually looking to go to Auto Club next next year to see the final race of this track. Meaning, I think 2023 will more than likely be the last time for this track so yeah I want to know what you guys think let me know in the comment section below I'll catch you guys next time